After the Kakarodontosaurids and Spinosaurids lost their power, over the apex predatonaceous in the late Cretaceous, new groups took over. Groups that before were only second or third within the respective food chains. There were three groups, the Tyrannosaurus, the Megaraptorans and perhaps the weirdest among them, the Abelisaurus. While most people think of Carnotaurus when talking about the biggest Abelisaur, the biggest of the bunch is actually far less popular. Or as one guy commented on the Megaraptor community tab, every Carnotaurus feels gangster until Pycnominosaurus arrives. Lake Cretaceous, South America, the forests of Brazil. These lands are haunted by a giant beast with a quite peculiar face as these forests were home to the Pycnominosaurus, the biggest dinosaur in all of Abelisauridae and by extension also Ceratosauria. Abelisaurs are known for their thick short skulls and tiny arms. This also gave them the nickname Speed Sausages as they were fast plus have a sausage-ish body plan. I don't need to explain Explain the sausage part, but what about the speed? Carnotaurus reached 56 km per hour or 45 miles per hour and was probably the fastest big theropod out there. However, Pycnominosaurus was much bigger, with length estimates going up to 9 meters or 30 feet and a weight of a staggering 3.6 metric tons, making not only Carnotaurus look small, but also all other Abelisaurs and Ceratosaurs, even the Saltio Veneto. Honestly, it wouldn't look good if Carnotaurus entered Pycnus territory. Come here, I'm gonna eat you! I'm bigger than you, I'm higher in the food chain! Get in my belly! With this size it would certainly not have been as fast as Carnotaurus, but we can still speculate on a speed of 30 km per hour or 18 miles per hour or more. The size, speed and typical Abelisaur skull would make it a great ambush predator, which also aligns with its name as Pycnominosaurus means dense forest lizard. Pycnominosaurus nevesi was described by Kellner and Campos in 2002. It is classified as a Furilosaurian, a group within Brachiostra, which is in turn a group within a Belisauridae. Pycnominosaurus has not yet been depicted in Paleometer, which is kind of sad, but this is easily explained by its lack of popularity. Pycnominosaurus is known for a short but deep skull with greatly reduced arms. It would have used its small yet sharp teeth and head to get a hold of struggling prey as the Pycnominosaurus shook and tore them apart. Because of this, it might have even preyed on Titanosaurus. However, except for this its giant size and the typical Belisaur features, we don't really know much about it. Since it is highly fragmentary, maybe it even had a horn or some other facial features. But what would a belly sauce do with the horns anyway? Roasting marshmallows. <laughs> Anyways, we do know a thing or two about fauna though, because the Adamantina formation showcases late Cretaceous Brazilian fauna from 87.8 to 68 million years ago. This formation contains quite a lot of crocodilomorphs, including the Notosuke and Adamantina sucus, Samparosuchids, Trematochamsids, Sphagisaurids, Perosaurids, and Itasuchids. Furthermore, the formation includes the blind snake boy Paver and the frog Boripa tractus. Dinosaurs include the Titanosaurian sauropods, Adamantina. Antisaurus, Aruda Titan and Arctosaurus, Gondwana Titan, Maxicalosaurus and an indeterminate Unilagin Raptor and the Bellisaur. Still, because Pycnominosaurus was one of the biggest pharaohs in the Maastrichtian, by the way joining the ranks of Tyrannosaurus, Maip, Dinochirus, Pherizinosaurus and Tarbosaurus, it would have been the epic predator if we put it into the Adamantina formation. But unfortunately for the big sausage roll, with it having lived in the Maastrichtian 72 million years ago, it is quite possible that the the dense forest beast also got directly wiped out by the Chicxulub impact event 66 million years ago. Either way, the KPG was the end for all dinosaurs, including this enormous Brazilian Abelisaur, putting an end to the reign of these brilliant and peculiar speedsters. That's it for the video of Pycnominosaurus. Smash the thumbs up, subscribe, and activate the bell so I can put out more such content. Also, check out Twitter and Instagram, links in the description. I hope you have a splendid day or evening. Megaraptor out.